Happy Halloween, everybody. Uh, hope y'all doing all right today. Um, it's cold as hell up here in Rochester. <laughs> I think we had a little snow flurries last night. So that, that was kind of crazy. Uh, so anyways, I finally got my iPhone SE. It's been almost a week since I've been using it. Now, that shit took almost... 24 hours just to set up everything. Transfer all my info from my iPad and my iPod to here. And then after that, I was having problems swapping my phone from, you know, my Samsung to the to the SE. So I had to eventually call Boost themselves and have them do it because, yeah, I guess I'm not as tech savvy as I thought I was. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm very happy with this SE. First of all, it has the home button. Okay, and that's the important part because the the tens and the elevens, it's just it doesn't do anything for me, man. I'm sorry, it it doesn't work for me, yo. Like I need a home button <laughs> to do what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. Um, but yeah. Only downside is that I wish that the SE had more colors because it just had product red, which I have uh, black and white. Like, if they had yellow, I would have been floating over the moon because, you know, yellow is my favorite color, so I want a yellow phone. Only ones that have a yellow phone are the, the 10 or the 10R and the 11. But like I said, I'm not messing with those phones. There's no home button, and I'm not going through all that. Nope. Nope, sorry. They're nice phones, don't get me wrong. But And then, like I said, what the hell am I going to do with two or three cameras on my phone? I'm finna get robbed if I do something like that. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, um, hope everybody's doing okay. Hope everybody's being safe out there. Please be safe out there. Um, also, you know, as I mentioned in the last video, I had made an Instagram. And that's been... Uh, was it a week or something since I've been using it? Um, it's okay so far. I mean, it's nice to follow, you know, your favorite celebs and, you know, see what they're doing and stuff like that. I mean, it's, it's, it's nice. Um, but like I said, we'll proceed everything with caution, you know? Receive a caution with the whole the whole situation. Um, a lot of people that's doing like Bitcoin trading and stuff have been following me, and that's kind of uh, on on Instagram. That is not on, not in person, and that's been kind of creeping me out a little bit. <laughs> but um. Overall, I mean, it's it's okay. I may post something on there later on, Halloween esque or whatever, just to be funny. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So um, I'm just gonna get myself together, and uh, I gotta do a, a you know a couple of things here and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, um, I haven't done any pickups as of yet, although. I got a call from the record store yesterday. I had ordered the New York Dolls' first album. And the record store only had it on vinyl, but they didn't have it on CD. I should have got the vinyl, really, but um, I couldn't afford the vinyl. So I figured, let me just get the CD and, you know, then I'll get the vinyl to complete my collection. I, I need the CD first. So they got it and they called me and let me know that it was theirs. They, they kept it in the, in the back. A party where they keep all the orders and stuff like that. So I may go there later on, or if not later on, I'll go there tomorrow. Um, you know, of course, you got to be careful because it's Halloween. People be doing dumb shit on Halloween. And it's going to be a full moon tonight, too. So you, you already know. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be some thriller stuff tonight. So, you know, it is what it is. Anyways, um, Wanted to thank everybody as always for your support. Um, you know, I appreciate it. These have been difficult times for all of us. 
and uh, somehow we can get through this we can persevere through this we just have to do it together you know we can't be on some separation shit because that's not the way to do things you know what i'm saying get out there and vote please get out there and vote do what you gotta do um i had found out this morning that sean connery passed away and that broke my heart as well because um he was one of my favorite actually he was my favorite james bond there's no disrespect to everybody else that came after him but sean connery had this what people would call swag he had this swag and this this uh smoothness about him when he was on screen and even when he was in other roles outside of um outside of james bond he brought that same uh that same vibe that same smoothness to his character and stuff like that but he, he was a tremendous actor and it was it's a hell of a loss you know what I'm saying? It's a hell of a loss, man. And, you know, of course, I had mentioned Eddie Van Halen. Rest in peace to him. And it was crazy with him because the day before he died, he just had an interview with somebody. Like, literally the day before he died. So it was crazy. It's just, it's very strange. You know, it's really, really strange uh, things going on. Um. Also... Like I said, it's not, not to get political or anything like that, but I had heard about another shooting that had happened. Uh, it was one in Philadelphia, and there was another one, I think, that had happened uh, in Portland or something like that. I'm not 100% sure, but, I mean, this shit is just sad, and it's fucked up that these things are still happening, and you would think that we would do better as people. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's just disgusting, man. It's, it's really messed up. And people are going to keep protesting until we make a change and stop this shit. Like, stop killing us, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's just hard. I've been dealing with uh, overall sadness for, you know, seeing these things every day. Seeing police shootings every day and um, hearing about it and the whole environment, the fires and, you know, the coronavirus, all this stuff happening all at one time is just too much for everybody's mental state. You know what I'm saying? Uh, also, I had um, about the Jacob Blake I think his name is Jacob Blake. I had said Jacob Black, so I made an error on uh, the, the brother's name when I had mentioned him in one of my videos earlier, so I apologize for that error. Um, yeah, like I said, just too much things going on right now. Um, yeah, I can't believe it's going to be November tomorrow. November. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy. Time is just zooming by. And hopefully we get this coronavirus um, contained somehow. I mean, this is just insane. We're talking about uh, damn near a year. Because once we get into January and February, it'll be a year that we've been dealing with this. A lot of us are fatigued at this point. Um, myself included. With this whole... Um, having to wear masks and well, we have to, we still have to, but it's just the, the mere fact of it all. And, you know, all of these things happen, excuse me, all at once. And, um, you know, it's, it's just too much going on. But anyways, um, lastly, I wanted to mention a few movies that I have been watching throughout you know, the past few months. I've been watching a lot of uh, Netflix movies. Not recently, because I've been busy, but, you know, a couple, you know, a couple of times when I have a chance. Um, I had saw 
I had so uh, that movie with Jamie Foxx um, and Joseph Gordon Levitt. Hold on, I'm about to look up the name. Hold on a second. I forgot what it's called, but I saw it. Oh, oh, Project Power. I have saw Project Power. It's a really good movie. Really good movie. Uh, some people gave it bad ratings, but I think it's a good movie. You know what I'm saying? Um, I saw Death Note. I think I mentioned this, but I don't remember. I had saw Death Note at this point probably four or five times. Um, it's not the best movie. I, I will admit it's not the best movie, but um, I did like. I did like the fact that Willem Dafoe was the uh, was the Death Demon, or the Death God, I should say. I, did like because uh, Willem Dafoe always brings that that creepiness to his characters and stuff like that, and you know he's another tremendous actor. Um, I did like what Lakeith Stanfield had brought to the L character. It was interesting his uh his take on on the character or whatever. But yeah, yeah, he was one of the reasons why I watched it four or five times. <laughs> Um, I had also saw, what, what else did I see? This is movie called, um, Vampires in the Bronx. That shit is funny and it's scary at the same time. I, I like the movie. I, I thought it was, uh, I thought it was interesting. Um, I'm gonna tell you one thing, no. <laughs> Ain't no vampires gonna be in no, in no, uh, the, in, in the Bronx or Brooklyn and get away with it. That that's all I gotta say. They don't want that smoke with us from the BK. You did, you know, they they they, they don't want it. So <laughs> ain't no vampires gonna be going through Brooklyn and not and and just chilling or whatever. That's not what's gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? Cause we we don't play that. I, I, I'm I'm just saying. You know they 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 don't want that smoke. <laughs> Anyways, that was a good movie too. Um. I had mentioned when I first saw All Day in the Night and Asher Sanders did an excellent job in that film, as did uh, Jeffrey Wright. Jeffrey Wright kills in every role that that brother is in. So, uh, you know, props to him too, yo. Um, the actress that played uh, Ashton's mom, Ashton character's mom in the film is another excellent actress too. I don't, I don't know her name, but she's another one she that that sister i i loved her uh her acting in that film as well uh, it was a good movie and uh yaya ya mateen no yaya abdul mateen the second that that fine brother that was in uh um um watchmen he's another great actor and fine is all outdoors boy i tell you um, but yeah, uh, he, he did a great job in, in the film too. His, his role was, uh, well, it wasn't short per se, but you know, it was just, um, you know, in comparison to Ashton's character, but everybody did an excellent job in that film. I, I think that's a great film. You know, I, I may watch it again when I get a chance. Um, I saw someone great, which was, uh, Another movie that Lucy Sanford was in with uh, Gina Rodriguez. And some people know her from Jane the Virgin. I never did watch Jane the Virgin, but I would see occasionally, like I would uh, see when it came on and stuff like that. Uh, Gina Rodriguez is, a, is another good actress and funny as hell, you know what I'm saying? Um, the actress that played in the Netflix version of She's Gotta Have It. That had played Nona Darling. Um, I forgot her name, but she's married to the actor in Cherish the Day, who acts with uh, Lakeith's ex, um, <laughs> Zosha Rockmore. She's another great actress too. Uh, you gotta check her out too. But um, uh, yeah, that that was a good movie. I love someone great, but it was sad as fuck, man. It was really sad. I mean, can you imagine having a relationship like that for nine years and then they broke up? I mean, it was crazy. But I love the fact 
believe it or not, I love the fact that it didn't have a happy ending because that's reality. Like sometimes when you're in a relationship and it ends, you don't always have happy endings in that regard. So it was realistic in, in its approach to, you know, the ending of a relationship. Same thing with um, the incredible Jessica James. That, 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 that was another movie that was funny too. Uh, I, I love both films also. Most I've been catching up on all the movies that Lakeisha's been in. Um, I had mentioned Uncut Gems before. And uh, Uncut Gems is very intense. <laughs> it's almost on the level of Casino. Because Casino was intense when it came out. And, uh, you know, it it's on the level of Casino as far as intensity is concerned. And as far as cursing is concerned. <laughs> It's it's on the same level. Um, Adam Sandler, yo. I always love Adam Sandler. I say one of my favorite Adam Sandler films is uh, Little Nicky. That's just me. That's my personal preference. I, I love Little Nicky, yo. But um, Adam Sandler. Oh, and uh, the, the movie he was in with Damon Wayans. Uh, Bulletproof. Uh, that, those were two of my favorite movies with, uh, with Adam Sandler in it. Plus, a lot of people like The Wedding Singer and, you know, stuff like that. Uh, but Adam Sandler did a great job in his role in Uncut Gems. I mean, he, he fucking killed it. And I hated Lakeith's character, though, yo. I hated his fucking character so much in Uncut Gems. Like, I dead ass wanted to fight his ass in that movie. Like, But the crazy thing is, this mad Damani's. <laughs> I, I, well, most of us know a couple Damani's in our lifetime. You know, especially especially in New York. You know what I'm saying? It, it's too many Damani's that you could count on on one hand alone. You know what I'm saying? In New York alone. So that that that's why I knew it had to be a New York film right there. And then I'm like, as so, soon as I saw his character, I'm like, yep. <laughs> this this New York, yo. And I'm telling you, we know too many damn Damani's, son. Like, it's, it's crazy. That's why I hated his character, too, because I'm like, yo. It's too many dudes. I went to high school with dudes like Damani. That's the crazy thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But anyways, <laughs> it's a demonic in every state, apparently. Um, Uncut Gems was an excellent film. Like I said, everybody brought their A game to there. Uh, Eric Borston was uh, in that movie, too. And I remember him from... Um, I hated his character, too. I remember him from... Uh, um, Come on, I got it. Man, it's, it's on the tip of my tongue. The movie with Steven Seagal, man. Um, it was Steven Seagal. Uh, fine ass more chestnut. Um, and him, and he played the villain. Like he was trying to, he was uh using satellites and stuff to try to uh trigger like nuclear wars and stuff like that. Um. Oh my God, the name of the movie is in the back of my mind and it's not coming out. I'm going to have to look it up. I'm going to have to look it up, man. Hold on, hold, hold on, y'all. My brain's not working today, apparently. My brain is not working. Uh, Steven. I wonder what's going on with Steven Seagal anyway. I haven't seen him lately. Hold on. Oh, Under Siege. Under Siege 2, that is. Um, yeah, that movie was crazy, but Eric Borstein, if I'm pronouncing his last name right, I hated his character in, in Under Siege 2, and I hated his character in Uncut Gems. <laughs> Like he's another one that, but he he he's a fantastic actor too, yo. And the dude that played his henchman, that um, I don't want to spoil it for people who didn't see the movie, but that you know was following uh, Adam Sandler's character around. That man is a great actor too. I forgot his name too, but that that dude. Everybody brought their A game to Uncut Gems, period. I'm surprised that uh, that was a nominee for an Oscar. Because honestly, everybody in that movie should have gotten an Oscar for their roles in, in that film. That was an excellent film. It was intense. It, listen, 
And um, the actress that had played Adam Sadler's uh, mistress in the film, I found out she she's around my age. That's crazy. But these these young actors, man, they 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 got their A game. They bring their A game to Hollywood, yo, for real, for real. Um, but she kind of like her character kind of gave me Sharon Stone vibes because I was comparing it to to a casino in my head. So she had the Sharon Stone thing going on, you know, more or less. And she she she's beautiful too. Uh, but anyways, um, what other movie did I see? On Netflix. Um, oh, another movie that Lakeith was in was uh, um, um, War Machine. I can't think today for some reason. War Machine is another good movie, but it was okay. I felt like it was kind of slow in certain parts, but uh, it was a it was a good movie overall. And uh, Brad Pitt, you know. He brought humor to the role too, which I thought was good. It, it was kind of like a mixture. It was like a, a, like a, not really a dark comedy per se, but it was kind of like comedy mixed with drama, dramedy, if you will. Uh, but it was okay, you know. It was not. It wasn't the the best film in the world, not on the level of Uncut Gems or anything like that. But it was okay. Um. There's been in the other movies I've seen. I haven't seen Girls Trip yet, but I have bought Girls Trip. And uh, I think I showed it in the last video. Uh, I have to watch it. I still have to watch Hidden Figures. I don't know what's taking me so long with watching that movie, but I still have to watch that movie. And uh, yeah, it's just been a whole bunch of movies I've been trying to catch up with and a whole bunch of shows I've been trying to catch up with too. Um... As I had mentioned a few videos back, I have to catch up on Insecure because I had gotten it. The last time I was watching Insecure, and that's when I had uh, DirecTV, um, I think I was up to season two. And then I had missed it after that. So I have to catch up on season three and four. But uh, from what Issa Rae had posted on Instagram a couple of months back, she had posted a picture of the script of season five, which means season five should be coming up soon. And uh, she still isn't making one hour episodes. I mean, it is what it is. At this point, y'all going to keep asking. She ain't going to do it. So, you know, it is what it is. And then season three of Atlanta should be uh, coming up soon. Also, once it's safe to, you know, do so, that is. But yeah, you know, that's, I've been just trying to catch up on everything and catch up on, you know, um, movies and music from my favorite people and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's been a couple of videos that I've been catching up on, like uh, music videos and stuff like that, that I've been trying to catch up on when I get a chance. Um, Run the Jewels. They had a song with, I think it was a song with D-Nice. Um, Ooh La La is called. Uh, I've been trying to catch up on Run The Jewels because when they first came out, I wasn't feeling it because at the time, I didn't know that it was Killer Mike and LP in the group. I didn't know that. So I dismissed it as another mumble rap group. And that was my mistake. That was my mistake because I missed out on a lot of good material that Killer Mike, you know, was involved in. And Killer Mike's one of my favorite rappers from back of the, you know, Outcast, Dungeon Family thing, days. You know what I'm saying? Killer Mike was another one that, that always brought his A-game between him and Calf and, and uh, Goody. You know what I'm saying? They had put the ATL on the map in that regard. You know what I mean? So, um, that's why I'm still slapping myself silly for not being, um, not getting into Run the Jewels when the project first came out. You know what I'm saying? But I've been trying to catch up on Run the Jewels stuff. 
Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I've been trying to catch up on, on some death grip stuff. I've been trying to catch up on horror. Uh, horror is the group that I told you I saw them at uh, Afro Punk. I saw Death Grips at Afro Punk too, and I was lucky. Um, last year that is. Um, horror had this video called uh, "Pigs Want Me Dead." I think that's what it's called. It was an interesting video. It was kind of like um, what do you call it? Uh, it was kind of like um, Grand Theft Auto esque. And it's a design and shit like that. Uh, I like the song. The song was fucking dope. Uh, so yeah, I've been trying to catch up on, on horror stuff. I still got a cop that uh, United States of Horror album. I saw it on vinyl online for like $20-something, dollars $30-something. And then I saw it on CD for like 14 I may cop it if I, I see it. I, matter of fact, if I go to the record store today, I'm going to see if they have it in the record store, um, <clears throat> excuse me, but yeah, uh, also, I've been catching up on Lakeith's music, too, and it's dope, you know what I'm saying, um, uh, he had this one video that, that it, I mean, it hit me hard like a ton of bricks, because all of us are feeling like this right now, as far as all of our emotions going on and shit like that. It was a video for his song, Iron, uh, Iron Man, Island Man, <laughs> Island Man, not no damn Iron Man, Lord have mercy, it's my accent too, I pronounce shit the same fucking way, Island Man, um, the, the song, the, the, um, the chorus of the song is kind of funny, but, uh, the song itself wasn't funny because it was, it was deep, it was really deep and it was extremely emotional. And the video was very, it, it, it hit me, yo. I had commented on his video about that, about how much it had, you know, hit me and how much I thought he was a beautiful soul for, for expressing his, his emotions like that, you know. And that's the thing, too. I have a lot of respect for people that are not afraid to show vulnerability. And that's the problem. Everybody is so quick to want to put on this tough man, tough woman facade. And you can't do that all the time because we're all human. You know what I'm saying? And we all have feelings. We have to show that. You know what I'm saying? We can't keep that shit bottled in like that. It's not healthy. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah. Um, so, uh, Island Man was dope. There was a video he had before that and i stayed up till two o'clock in the morning because he had uh premiered it on on his youtube channel and i had stayed up till two o'clock in the morning to watch both premieres of both videos and i was not disappointed at all uh the first one was uh the opposite of being proud is that what it's called no i am the opposite of proud or, or, or something like that. I, I, I got I to gotta double check the, uh, the title. But yeah, I think it's I Am the Opposite of Proud. Something like that. But I, the, the video the video was uh, it was a little disturbing. Uh, I'm going to admit that it was a little disturbing. But uh, the visuals matched what he was talking about in, you know, in the song, in his lyrics. And like I said, you know, I, I, I fuck with him heavy. He's a, he's an amazing actor, you know what I'm saying? Amazing rapper. I've been catching up on a lot of his old stuff, too. Uh, he used to go by the name of Keith Corrosive. And a lot of his shit as Keith Corrosive was dope. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I caught up with a lot, of, a lot of his music, too. And like I said, I fuck with him heavy. I know a lot of people are still mad about uh certain things that he did or whatever especially on instagram and stuff like that but like i said it goes back to this whole cancel culture thing that i said in the last video people are so quick to watch you know to you know people are so quick to wait for you to slip on something and then they attack you and i don't think that's fair because everybody's entitled to an opinion you may not like the opinion but sometimes it's best to just leave shit alone 
You know, stop being so quick to cancel people for things that don't make any sense. Now, if you cancel somebody for something serious, serious, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you know, rape and stuff like that, then that is one thing. I, that, I agree on canceling somebody on that. You know what I'm saying? But everything else, y'all need to chill with that. Seriously. It, it, it's, it's too much. But yeah, like I said, I fuck with him heavy. Uh, I'm a huge fan of his work. Uh, now that I have an Instagram, I've been following him on Instagram. And um, <laughs> I, I I admit I, post, I commented a few thirst comments I should have posted. <laughs> I'm human, man, and he's attractive. I mean, I, I wanted him to know he was attractive. But anyways, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, like I say, he's a he's a great actor. So is Ashton, and um, countless others that have been coming out over these years, uh, these past few years. A lot of these young actors coming out are killing it. I mean, they're just killing it in in these films. It's just you know, it's, it's, it's crazy, you know what I'm saying, uh, another good actor is, uh, Timothy Chalamet, if I'm pronouncing his name right, um, he's gonna be in the new Dune movie that I think it came out recently, um, so check him out on that too, I haven't, I've never saw the whole entire original Dune, which I think had Kyle McLaughlin. He's another excellent actor. A lot of people know him from Twin Peaks and um, Showgirls. I remember him from Showgirls. And uh, yeah, that, that, that was that was another interesting movie. But believe it or not, that's one of my favorite movies. I'm sorry to admit it, but that's one of my favorite movies. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, but yeah, I think Timothy looks like he's going to do a good job in his new Dune. And, and so, so is Zendaya, too. She's another good actress, too. Uh, like I said, uh, Daniel Kalula too. Um, that's why I'm excited to see Judas and the Black Messiah. Because based on that trailer alone, I already know that that's going to be Oscar-worthy. You know what I'm saying? Between Daniel and Lakeith and... Um, and I found out Ashton's in the movie too, and, um, Jesse Plemons, I mean, listen, man, that movie is gonna be fucking crazy, I cannot wait until that movie comes out, man, because we need a movie like that to come out to, to tell the truth about Fred Hampton and, you know, about the Black Panthers in general, we need to know the truth, you know what I'm saying, everybody, and everybody's so quick to put all these fallacies in these movies about, you know, people that paved the way for us, really. You know what I'm saying? Uh, there's another movie that's on Netflix. I have to see it called, uh, and this movie ended up being longer. I mean, there's a video ended up being longer than expected. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, I've random and I, I ramble a lot and talk a lot. Uh, anyways, uh, there's another movie that uh, Yaya... Abdul Mateen is in um, the trial of of the trial of the Chicago Seven. I think that's what it's called. Um, and Yaya plays Bobby Seal. And um, from what I saw in the trailer, too, he's another one. He bought his like he didn't win that Emmy for nothing. You know what I'm saying? That brother is hella fucking talented. He's another great a actor too. Um, he bought his A game with Bobby Seal, yo. Like, period. And I, I gotta see that movie too. I'm also excited for Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. I'm so fucking excited for that movie. And Viola Davis is another favorite actress of mine. And I, I love everything that she does. That sister is just amazing. Beautiful black queen, man. It's just amazing everything that that she does. Um. I'm excited to see Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. And also knowing that that was Chadwick Boseman's last uh, role. It's going to be heartbreaking to see it. But nevertheless, I'm excited because I, I want to see 
And once again, the trailers, these trailers are, are getting good, man. Um, based on that trailer, I can see that Chadwick just fucking killed it, period. He was the reason why I wanted to see the five bloods. And of course it was because of Spike Lee and um, Delroy Lindo and stuff like that. He's another great actor too. But when I found out Chadwick was in it and Chadwick killed it, man, I still haven't seen five bloods though. And now that he's not here and I still can't believe it. I, I don't even want, want to fathom Chadwick Boseman not being here. It's just, it's, it's just, it's not registered. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, that trailer, I mean, Chadwick, it was just crazy. He fucking killed it, man. Period. That brother killed it. Every role he was in, he fucking killed it. Uh, one of my favorite movies for him, besides Get On Up, was, um, uh, he was in this movie. It was a Netflix movie. Uh, Message from the King. Message from the King. And he did an excellent job in that film, too. Like, that shit was crazy, yo. I mean, Chadwick, if he was still here, there's no doubt in my mind that he would have won an Oscar. There's no doubt in my mind because he has that that Oscar, um, that Oscar vibe, that Oscar panache. You know what I'm saying? He has it. He had it. But yeah, I, I'm going to shut up now because this video is almost 40 fucking minutes long. And who wants to hear me talk for 40 minutes? I don't. <laughs> but uh, anyways, you know, I I was just uh, meant, made this video to kind of uh, keep everybody updated on what I've been doing. I'm sorry, I always look crazy in my videos, but, you know, it is what it is. I got to do something about this hair because I'm, I'm looking crazy. This is actually my mother's hat. Uh, I don't think she knows I have it, but <laughs> she knows now. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to give a shout out to everybody. I hope everybody's staying safe out there and have a he healthy and safe Halloween. Please don't do no crazy shit out there. Don't don't be doing no shootings and all this other crazy stuff uh, or no uh, scaring people to death and all this other stuff. Just just take it easy this Halloween, please. You know what I'm saying? And uh, let's just be there for one another. Let's stop all this violence and stop all this hate and stuff. Let's just stop this shit, man. Like, we, we got we to gotta really get it together in this world, man. We, we, we got to stop. But, yeah, I'm going to shut up now because this video is getting too long. But, yeah, um, this is the first video on the SE. So, it's better quality than that godforsaken iPod. I still have my iPod though, so this this still my ride or die for the most part. I'ma catch y'all soon. Uh, if I decide to go to the record store and I do get that New York Dolls CD today, I'll make a video on it. If not, I'll make a video on it next time. But I will catch y'all next time, and y'all take it easy, peace.